Welcome to Stats Up. I'm Rory Jennings. I'm Nathan Caton. And joining us today, all the way from, from the new cap in Barcelona, we've got football royalty in the house. <laughs> Leila Anna Lee. What's Thank going on? Thank you. I'm good. I literally dragged my little suitcase here from there. It's been insane. So, Leila was at the match last night, the huge match between Juventus and Barcelona. I Tell me, how was it? It was amazing. I'm embarrassed to say that I've never actually been to Camp Nou before, so I was just in awe, staring at the layers upon layers of people. I mean, Barcelona's 12th man is a giant. Yeah. And I bought myself a little gift, a little memento from the shop. I think you might like what I've bought here. Go on. Oh, oh, very nice. Look at that. Very nice. It's extortionately overpriced. It, yeah, it looks a little bit like Lionel Messi, almost <laughs> any other player. Did you uh, hear what was just said in our ear? <laughs> is that a Rory Jennings doll is what I heard? <laughs> is that a Rory Jennings doll? This, same size. It's hey. incredible. That could quite easily be Pedro, though, couldn't it? <laughs> it could be. But I, know, I, I mean, like they it. have a Neymar, they have the Suarez. Oh, they're they're nice. really... I love them. I, I, I might keep him in his packaging, I'm not sure. I love it. Your I love thoughts? It. I think it's really good. Do you think Juve can do it? Do you think that they will be strong enough? If they continue to not concede goals, then, you know, they will. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. Very nice. Right. Let's see what else we have coming up on today's show. Mind-blowingly idiotic journalism. What has happened to them after they were seemingly running away with the Premier League title? My worst of the week. My job is this, which still counts, Dad. As he's saying, uh, Jamie Vardy's right. These electronic tags are really uncomfortable. <laughs> no one hates me more than me. We were having a little party there. We had our little hats on. Yeah, I noticed. What was going on? Well, I think we're, we should celebrate the title race is back on because it definitely is. But I think we're all celebrating Brighton as well, aren't we? I thought we were celebrating Sunderland scoring a goal, but OK. I'm not really? really in the mood to celebrate. I think it's been a terrible week. <laughs> Chelsea have dropped points. John Terry's retired from football. Well, retired from Chelsea, at least. It's not, it's not been a good week. I didn't really appreciate the party. You're upset, aren't you? So you really think that Chelsea are going to hold on to this? Yeah. Look, ugh, do you know what? Let's, I'm going to cheer myself up here. I'm going to bring in a wonderful guest. Please, everybody, give it up for Rhys James. <laughs> Thank you How for you? having me. I'm Cheers. all right. Good you. Cheers, you good? Lads. Yeah. I'm all right. First question. I'm going to throw yeah. you right in the spot. Go on. Layla seems to think that the title race is back on. Tell and her it isn't. Think Please gonna, tell her it isn't. He's going to cheer you up. I think he's not going to cheer you up. Obviously, the title race, it was never off. <laughs> <laughs> when was the title race off? <laughs> oh, come on. As long as the maths don't lie. <laughs> yep. I'm ready to believe. You know what? Uh, I kind of have to agree with Reese, man. Spurs, they've got momentum, man. You think four points? You think four points in the tight race is off? Four points, but to claw back four in six games is tough. Listen, no chance. Look at the no. fixtures. Look, come on. Right, Crystal Palace away. Only bad teams lose to Crystal Palace. OK? <laughs> <laughs> Arsenal at home. I mean... I, Only bad teams lose to Crystal Palace. I fancy that. West Ham away. Bear in mind where that away is these days, the London Stadium. It's an easy place to go. Uh, Man United at home, we beat him last year. Leicester away, what's Leicester these days? Um, <laughs> Only the reigning champions work it. The, yeah, the, yeah, the reigning champions. But where are they at the moment in the table? Yeah, I see. I see. Look, I see your point. But yeah. where and then Hull City away. And actually, that's... It, we, I wouldn't put it past Spurs to win all of those and it go down to the last game of the season and lose six. Do you, do you know what I could actually see happening? And I kind of want this to happen. I can see you winning all of those, accruing the 89 points and still not winning the league. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that, that obviously that would be a really no, Spurs hang on, thing. hang on. Earlier on, you pulled out a stat about the 89 points. I did. It's not a stat that I like to talk Explain about too Explain it. Well, this is when I was trying to think of reasons why Tottenham fans could be confident. And no team has accrued 89 points and not won the league before. The only time it's happened is when Manchester United and Manchester City both got 89 points and it went to goal difference. So a team right. who had 89 technically didn't win it. But And our goal difference is better. Your goal difference is better Ooh. currently. So right. he's already talking himself out of no, winning. No, no, no. Are you a closet Spurs fan? No, I am not. <laughs> no, uh, uh, the title race certainly is on. I obviously don't believe the Spurs will win the league, given that I have not experienced that in my lifetime. And I have experienced so much Spursiness in my lifetime. So I could see us getting even closer than now and still not doing it. But I can't realistically see us taking you. No? No, I just... You've got an easy run in. Uh, you don't concede that much. No, but though, they're losing players. I mean, John, John Terry, he's, he's, he's gone. You know? <laughs> John Terry's <laughs> gone. Obviously, there's a big voice in the... I don't know, wherever. 
You had some choice words to say oh, about our poster that. when you came in. Look how good I can't it. believe that poster. He had here. a sh it's, it's he had the same hairstyle. One hairstyle after <laughs> it's a terrible hairstyle after a terrible hairstyle, John. <laughs> he ages like a sim. <laughs> he does not look older. It's, in it's insane. Uh, the best Premier League centre half ever? Of course oh, not. Ever? Of course not. Of course not. Of course he's not the best anything ever. <laughs> uh, uh, name name a better centre. William Cunier. Anthony Gardner. <laughs> I mean, uh, every every Premier League centre half I would take above John Terry in my team. And that is why you haven't won a trophy for nearly a decade. Well, I'm not the man. Yeah, I haven't won a trophy for nearly a decade. <laughs> I've got nothing to do with the ins and outs of Premier League football. I wish I did. No, it's uh, no. I'm being being slightly more serious, you must at least rate him as a player, if not so much as a man. I certainly don't rate him as. I, yeah, I mean, fine, he's a good player. <laughs> but what a coward! Yeah. What a coward! Yeah. 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 Oh, um, he's not. I mean, I, I know he, it's weird with John Terry. I know he didn't bully me at school, but it feels like he did. Fine. I can't switch that off. Do you, know, do you know what? I can see that this is, you're not enjoying this at all. I'm going to talk about somebody who I think you're going to enjoy this a lot more. Okay. Deli Ali. Mm. Yes, please. <laughs> good lad. <laughs> do what a you good think lad. he's going to stay at Tottenham? Yeah, I mean, not forever. Uh, I think all of them will stay as long as Pochettino's there. But how long is he going to be there? Because you know, yeah, well, I mean, Barcelona could come calling. If Pochettino goes to Barcelona, then uh, <laughs> Dele Alli, Hugo Lloris, and Harry Kane are all playing for Barcelona next year. Well, actually, no. Kane will play for United. Lloris will go to Barcelona, and Dele Alli will go to Real Madrid. But you, you know, heard it here first. Yeah, here we go. It. That's <laughs> fact. You can take that. Um, if Poch is there, they will, don't have a reason to leave. And even if, yeah, even if we come second this year or even third. I just think it's clear progress going on at Spurs. It's not like it's ever been to be a Spurs fan in my life anyway. Ev the whole atmosphere is completely different, I believe, with the players and with the fans. I just think it would be a stupid time to leave. The worst of the week, OK? Which, by the way, is brought to us this week by Jules Breach. Hey, guys, I'm Jules Breach, and this is my worst of the week. Now, there is only one place to start, and that's because there aren't many weeks in the football calendar when a story like the Kelvin McKenzie one wouldn't be the top of many people's lists as mind-blowingly idiotic journalism. The Sun journalist, who's now been suspended and is under investigation after that article about Ross Barkley was published. To be honest, I'm still baffled as to how it went to print. Up next, is Diego Costa. Now, Marcus Rojo was assigned to Mark Costa for the second half in the United-Chelsea game. Watching these two battle it out was like watching two naughty schoolboys trying to get each other in trouble. There was even an incident when Rojo stood on Costa's big toe. We all know what it feels like to stub our big toes. It's painful, it is painful. But Costa acted ridiculously as if his leg had been snapped in half, I think. He was going for an Oscar with that one. And finally, sorry Rory, but I'm sticking with the Blues for my third worst of the week, and that's with Chelsea. What has happened to them after they were seemingly running away with the Premier League title? It all seems to be up in the air now. They've gone 10 games without keeping a clean sheet since their match against Hull in January. And now their London rivals Tottenham are creeping up behind them. There's just a four point gap and it looks as though we're going right to the wire to see who's going to win the Premier League title. At the same time as all of this happening with Chelsea, they also let go of their leader, John Terry. It just seems like slightly weird timing. And finally, I couldn't be on the Studs Up show without giving a mention to my Brighton boys who have been promoted to the Premier League after a 34-year absence. Crystal Palace, we're coming for you. See you, girls. I I'd love to more than anything in the world to put Chelsea on here. Take two down. I'm going to have to get rid of Conte. Correct decision. And I'm going to have to get rid of... Correct this. decision. Ooh. You're there. You belong there. there. It has Correct to be. decision. He deserves Reece. to be on Correct there. decision. Right. There. That, is, that is the right decision. Nathan, agreed? Yeah, that was, I think that was the obvious one. I think, you know, you can't... You know, what he said was despicable. It was yeah. outrageous, wasn't it? It was unbelievable oh, that that made it through to print. Yeah, I mean, it's... Well, if you're in charge, you can do what you want, I guess, but... Uh, He's a ludicrous man, but, you know, yeah. he's just an attention seeker. Yeah. A bit like uh, Diego Costa. <laughs> yeah, Costa. Yeah, he, he buckled under the pressure. You know, pressure? Like, yep. Did you just say pressure? Yes, I said pressure. That means that it's my time for my favourite part of the week. <laughs> I had a wonderful week. I managed to step in and fill the big man's shoes. It's powered by Opta and it's brought to you by Golden Shaw. It's the Pressure Index. Go, Rory.
The Gold Pressure Index, presented by Shaw and powered by Opta, is the only way to assess the Premier League's greatest performers in the pressure moments that shape the season. It looks like we might have a Premier League title race on our hands. Tottenham started the weekend with a 4-0 thumping of Bournemouth. And then on Sunday afternoon, Manchester United stunned leaders Chelsea by not only beating them 2-0, but by preventing them from having even one single shot on target. That's the first time that's happened in a Premier League game for nearly a decade. There were three Tottenham players in the top four of this week's pressure index, with Son Hyun Min, Harry Kane and Moussa Dembele leading the charge. Son has been in superb form in recent weeks, with five goals and an assist in his last four Premier League games while the return of Kane from injury could be the final element Spurs need in their heroic pursuit of Chelsea. The only player to top those three Spurs men in the pressure index last week was Liverpool's Roberto Firmino. With his crucial winning goal against West Brom, he cemented himself as the most constructive player at the club since the start of last season, with 21 goals and 13 assists. I'll be back later to take a look at a mammoth weekend in both the Premier League and the FA Cup. Harry Kane is, is riding high in the pressure index. That's right. Um, How good is he? He's the, he's the best. What do you want me to say? Is he, is, do, you, do you think he's the best striker in the Premier League? Um, <clears throat> yes, currently, I think oh. he's the striker I've got in my team the it? most in the Premier League. He's so, yeah, yes, I think so. He, he offers so much all over the pitch. Yes. Mm. Well, you only think originally when he first, you know, rose to prominence, he was su it was suggested that he was a one-season wonder. Yeah, but that was it's that not, was ridiculous yeah. from the off. It's and not the way anymore, is it? It was completely ridiculous. He was never going to be a one-season wonder. That is just the sort of thing that Chelsea and Arsenal fans said only to make the themselves feel better. Only the player to score twenty or more in three seasons. Do you know the other three? Thierry Henry. Boom. Alan Shearer. Boom. And it's good. Um, I, oh, oh, I pressure. The pressure's on. I don't think I know it. Uh, should we tell him? Yeah, go on. Robbie Fowler. Uh, no, Manchester United. United. Man United. Uh, mm. Wayne Dutchman. Rooney. No. Dutchman. Dutchman. Van Nistelrooy. There Correct. You go. Ah. Well played. Well played. Um, Not that good. But, but yeah, yeah so, so <laughs> Kane, we know how good he is. Do you, do you think that he can go to that next level? Is he going to be a player? You know, is There is no next level, mate. He's at the top. He's playing for Tottenham. But do you think he's good enough to play at the, the highest of levels? Do you think that he would score goals in the Champions League? Uh, yes, I do. I don't think he would do great outside the Premier League. I think he's a Premier League player. I honestly don't think it would be advised for him to move to a Real Madrid or Barcelona, and I don't think he ever will. Uh, I think if he does make a move, it will be to another Premier League side, and I think he would suit Man United, someone like that. I think any Premier League team he'd be great in, but okay. I can't imagine him doing amazingly in, say, Spain right. or France, maybe Germany, but I, I think he would... Go to United. Funny if you, you mentioned players uh, about uh, Harry Kane going abroad because remember last week we showed you some uh, some former Premier League players who um, didn't quite cut it here, but you know they've gone abroad and they're hitting the back of the net. And you know what? This week they're doing it again. So big up Vladimir Valcao, big up Ange Angel Di Maria, and big up Tim Cahill. Check this out. <laughs> So we've seen Radamel Falcao scoring goals there. Yeah. He scored, you know, he's just on fire, really, isn't he? Yeah, I watched him at Wembley this year when Monaco thrashed Spurs. <laughs> 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 and did you, did you see the, the player that he, he, we kind of remember him as? Uh, absolutely not. I didn't recognise him, and not just because he's changed his hair <laughs> into a much more fashionable <laughs> <laughs> bouffon. He, uh, no, he's a, he's a quality player, and he probably always was, but he just didn't, yeah, yeah, it just happened? didn't happen yeah. for him at United. Yeah. It's time Sorry. now for something completely different.
Okay? Nice. Thank you. Thank you. That was the hilarious <laughs> Colo Torre kicking off our social snap where we discuss all things football, social media. We may have mentioned that John Terry will be leaving Chelsea in the summer, so we thought we'd do a Throwback Thursday look at his best social moments. John O'Brien McKell, Frank Lampard and Rafa Benitez. <laughs> <laughs> of his announcement. Terry's, I find that a little bit strange. Yeah, I think it must have come from the club. I don't think Terry would want to do it now. Um, it's just sad. Greatest Premier League defender. Undoubtedly, right, Rhys? Greatest um, Premier League. Maybe top 650. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> greatest, I'm not sure about. I th I th he is clearly the great... Like, he is the greatest defender in the Premier League. I just don't know who we can compare to. He's a poor man's Ledley King, mate. If Ledley King, if Ledley King had not been plagued by injury... You cannot compare him to Ledley King. The best thing that ever I happened to Ledley have. King's career was that injury. No, it wasn't. It's, it was that tackle it against Diane Robbins. You cannot, you just cannot compare him to... It's embarrassing that we're comparing somebody of that man's stature to Ledley King. That man needs to be compared to Paolo Maldini and Bobby Moore, not Ledley King. And Herrera <laughs> might have had the best game of his life at Old Trafford, but he's also got some skills off the pitch. <laughs> That video has inspired our biggest match that we're having today. And keep your eyes out for it. It might be a complete disaster. We're not there sure, so stay here with us. Look at that. You are going down. <laughs> you are going yeah, down. Yeah, oh, generally, I'm not confident. <laughs> I went actual bowling two days ago and I was great, but uh, really, I'm, did I'm you have the bumpers up or down? Absolutely, obviously down. <laughs> How dare you disrespect me like that? I brought my own ball and my glove. Yeah, do you know what? I'm not feeling that all too confident myself. Are you feeling the pressure, are you? <laughs> Did you say pressure? Yeah, it's pressure. Yeah, it's pressure. <laughs> it's time for Cinema. part two of my favourite segment of the show. Sadly, it's not Duncan Alexander, the sexiest geek in the world. I've tried my best to deputise, but it's powered by Opta and it's brought to you by Golden Shaw. It's part two of the Pressure Index. The increasingly high-pressured race between Chelsea and Tottenham takes a break this weekend as the two sides face each other at Wembley in the FA Cup semi-final. Tottenham's record at this stage of the cup is dismal, with the club losing their last five FA Cup semi-finals. That's only one short of a record for exiting the cup at possibly the worst stage of all. Added to this is the fact that the game's at Wembley, Tottenham's temporary home in Europe recently. It's a venue where they've won only one of their last eight appearances. In possibly the biggest pressure test of Pochettino's men yet, can they handle the enormity of the occasion? In the other semi, Arsenal face Manchester City, who have progressed from their last eight FA Cup semi-finals. Pep Guardiola has won as a player in 1992 and a manager in 2011 on his last two trips to Wembley and he will be confident of adding to Arsenal's season of struggle. In the Premier League, the big question will be whether Marcus Rashford can keep his place in the Manchester United starting 11. Rashford had gone 20 games without scoring for United but has now scored two in a row and kept Ibrahimovic on the bench against Chelsea. Meanwhile, his teammate Ander Herrera continues to thrive under Jose Mourinho. Sitting third in the pressure index currently, Herrera scored against Chelsea and provided his fifth assist of the campaign, his best ever return in the Premier League. Marcus Rashford against Chelsea really was incredible. He's found a little bit of form, scored yeah. in a couple of games in a row. Huge fan. Are you? Love Marcus Rashford. Huge fan. He's in my fantasy team. <laughs> the, most of the reason is that, is that the is that the kind of reseal of approval if you've made it into that fantasy team yes yes and no every fantasy team in my league is unique he can only play for one team so I mean like it's not like I've just gone he's amazing he should be in right. if, if it was the other way around I would have dropped him ages ago okay, but right. he's in <laughs> I'm happy and I want Jose to start him every week and if he's playing like that with that kind of pace and that kind of finishing then of mm. course yeah well, he's, he he's could brilliant start every week. I mean after the game against Chelsea, people saying Rashford could replace Latan. But I think the two of them could play together in the two. Yeah. On top. Yeah, there's I no reason why not. not. There's no reason why not. And also, they, they complement each other well, wouldn't they? Yeah. Ibrahimovic kind of playing as the big man, Marcus Rashford buzzing around. You could see it working. Ibrahimovic back to goal, yeah. playing very much the Vincent Janssen role, if you will. <laughs> <laughs> never heard that he phrase before. <laughs> yeah. I would never hear it Ibrahimovic again. aspires <laughs> to be the Vincent Janssen. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> Layla. This, How are the comments going? This is ridiculous. I don't even know 
why we do this. That's just rude. And this is complete lack of punctuation. Mom, get off Facebook. It's sweet, right? But it's so embarrassing. No. Uh, Harry, we'll go with Harry. Surely JT won't join another club. Would be ultra weird to see him in another kit. Rory, could you cope with that? I think he'll play for another club. I don't think he'll play for another Premier League club. I think I imagine that he's probably... My money suggests China. I just where I think that's what he'd be doing. Your money. That's what he'd be doing. But I, I think he's certainly played for another club. I think he's got a couple of years left in him at the, in the game. Bruce, but your thoughts? Do you think well, he'll... What about when Frank Lampard played for Man City and it looked like it was fancy dress day that was in fine. the Premiership? There was no problem. But you didn't, um, you didn't see that as a curveball? I did you not. You expected that? I did not. It's loyalty. I didn't mind. They didn't win anything either, so I was happy. Right, OK. <laughs> yeah, I thought, to be honest, he'll go to China or America, won't he? Or nowhere. I think it'll have to be China. It'll have to be China because they're not going to break their wage structure for a defender in the States. Like, Ashley Cole's playing in the States. He's only about four grand a week. Like, it's, it's the big signings, the marquee signings who go there and earn a fortune. Mm. They're not going to do that for Terry. I think he will follow the money and end up in China. Fair enough. Mark mm. is comment number two. Rashford and Lingard are the new version of York and Cole. Oh, that's a bit early wow, to be making that. That's a claim. Yeah. That's huge. Gosh. I don't Lingard. think, I don't think on, so. Mate. I can't agree yeah. with that. When you, when you think of York and Cole, you're thinking of the partnership that won Manchester United the treble. Exactly. I don't think that I don't think that's there. I, that's Kane and Nansen. Exactly. <laughs> that's Kane and That's Kane a treble winning partnership. No, I don't. Premier I, League. I, I can't have that. I can't have that. So is that four votes on against Mark? It's four yeah. votes yeah. against Mark. Sorry, yeah, Mark. Sorry, yeah. Mark. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, Mark. Yeah. Better luck <laughs> next time. Uh, Miles has said, I think it's too too little, too late for Spurs, and they won't catch Chelsea now. Obviously, that pleases Rory, so we're not going to ask you about it, Reese. Furious, Miles. <laughs> <laughs> That's how far away I hope you are from me. <laughs> uh, no, I actually I agree. Well done, Miles. Do you, do you really? I think it's. I didn't think we'd get within four points to be honest, and I can't see us. Yeah, I can't see it happening. But I would like. Obviously, it would be a dream come true, especially given last season. I see. Especially oh, given what happened at the bridge. Third in a two-horse race. <laughs> yeah, and also just what happened at the bridge. Yes, that I was mean, wonderful. That was a great day. That was, <laughs> thank you for bringing that one up, Rich. It was actually a bad day, but it wasn't as bad as the week before we drew with West Brom, where the season I really ended I think you'll find it was me. as bad. It's very important to me that you find it I worse. don't find it bad. I no, liked it. Don't take this away from me. <laughs> and the big Premier League match of this weekend, Manchester United are taking on Burnley. Like, that is a huge match at both ends of the table. Yeah. Um, how do you see that one going? Um, I think United, where is it? Is it at? Turf Moor. Trafford? Turf Moor. It's at Turf Moor. Yeah. OK. Oh, if it was at Old Trafford, I would have predicted one all. Uh, or nil nil, standard. Um, <laughs> and now it's at Burnley? Now it's at Burnley. I'm going to give Burnley the win. No, really? I'll go one off. We'll go one off, play it safe. <laughs> play it safe. Two, two draw heavy teams. Uh, Burnley have a good home record this yeah, season. Third best in the league, apparently. Yeah, yeah, I really like Burnley. Yeah, they've and only I lost one game at home, I think. Very much hope they stay up, but I think United could sneak into that top four, you know. Really? Ooh. I think they could get it based on that top four more realistically than winning the Europa League for me. So, so that, that's an incredible season for Manchester United. Jose Mourinho Amazing will have worked season, yeah. his magic again if they f finish in the top four, win two out of the four trophies that they entered. That's an incredible season. How do you feel about Mourinho? Are you one of these Chelsea fans who calls him a Judas? No, 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 no. no. So you didn't not. mind when he was tapping the United badge? It's Mourinho. It's what he does. It's, <laughs> it's, I, th I think any Chelsea fan who gets bogged down in the histrionics of the man mm aren't remembering exactly who he was. Everything that you fell in love with, everything that, everything that he gave us, was based on that sort of uh, an approach to the game. There's obviously some other massive matches. Yeah. FA yeah. Cup semi-finals. Of course. We'll start with the less big one. The, yeah, the <laughs> third place playoff. Um, <laughs> make any sense. <laughs> yeah, how do you see that one going? Um, I, I really don't know. I think... I think there's a chance Arsenal could do it. I do as well. Just because he's good at FA Cups, isn't he? He knows how to win an FA Cup, mm -hmm. or at least get to a final of an FA Cup and quell fans' dissatisfaction for a little bit. Yeah, I, would, I would think... Would winning an FA Cup, though, kind of, like, give Wenger a bit more time? Is that enough? I think he's got more time anyway. Yeah, well, oh, I think I he'll think definitely stay. Yeah, and sure. I very much hope he does. But I think <laughs> Arsenal could win that, and I would love to, for Spurs to get Arsenal in the final. Far more than getting City. Oh. I yeah. think we're much more likely to beat Arsenal in the FA Cup final. See, than this is interesting because I'm not convinced. You know, looking at it from a neutral point of view, I don't think so. You know how Liverpool always seem to beat Everton, irrespective of yeah, form yeah, or whatever. Yeah. Liverpool always beat Everton. Turn up against. I feel that you are the Everton of that relationship. Okay. <laughs> Do you, I just don't think. I think that if you come up by that, Rory. if you come up against <laughs> Arsenal, mm. they well they've like, been way more up for it than last year. Last year they were rubbish. You were excellent. You played them in the cup, and Matthew Flamini scores two. 
Like yeah. that's that's the relationship with you. Two. Yeah, we're the sort of team that can see to it to Matteo <laughs> Flamini. Um, but City, City outplayed us so much at the Etihad this season. The, it was a draw, yeah, but he still got yes, a draw. Yes, a draw, an mean? inexplicable draw. That I mean, like, really. That I mean, they should have had that penalty. Kyle Walker pushed Sterling to the ground, and like, right, I remember. Yes, it did. was a dodgy. It yeah. was a dodgy game. Yeah. Uh, so I think I don't know. I'd just be concerned about City in a final against us. Maybe these Spurs players, they all keep talking about like this team will win a trophy, this team should win it, and everyone's putting pressure on them to win a trophy, this Spurs team. I think it's early days to be saying that yet, to be honest. It's only the second year of this squad, but I think, I don't know. I think I'd rather get Arsenal. I'd be more up for it on the day if we got okay. Arsenal. So then, do you think that, you know, you guys would beat Chelsea in your semi-final? The big one. Well, the problem, the reason I'm so confident about beating Arsenal in the final is because I don't think we'll get there. <laughs> <laughs> I can say what I like. We'll beat Arsenal in the final. Of course we will. No, I think... Um, no, nah, I've seen Spurs at Wembley enough times this season to have zero confidence in the width of that pitch. I think the, the other spin on that, because I don't think we're going to win. It's very rare this season <laughs> that I've gone into a game thinking that we're not going to win, mm. and I really do think we're underdogs. But surely the fact that you've played there three times this season already, I know it hasn't gone very well, but the yeah. fact that you've been there, it's been your home for you know European football. Right. Does that not just put you in a better position? Nah, maybe. It's not like Chelsea have never been to Wembley. No, true, true. Uh, but okay, not been there. Season. You've seen this. You've done the tour. <laughs> but not, <laughs> but so not, not this season. Not this season. But um, I think that sort of thing affects a team like Chelsea. It's a lot. It's a much more experienced team. That Chelsea team. Mm. So you don't think Spurs are going to win? You don't think Chelsea are going to win? It's a tie. You're both going to lose. Yeah, let's put yeah, the whole thing off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Penalty shoot. Penalty yeah. off on Sunday, yeah. guys. Yeah. Penalty <laughs> still going on on this show next <laughs> week. It's time for our bigger match, inspired by Herrera. Do come over, it's Rory and Reese for this okay. one. This so is it. we Chelsea saw him first. bowling and we thought we'd create a football <sighs> version of bowling. We've actually named it for bowling. I am very, very nervous. Are I'm you? Very, yeah, <laughs> I am. I'm very nervous because I'm, I'm quite a superstitious character. The fact that it's Chelsea v Tottenham here kind of makes me think that if I can do this for my team, my team could win at Wembley. So we, I shouldn't mention that you've been practicing this all morning? I haven't. I've never even seen this game before. He's been practicing wow. this all morning. Wow, unbelievable. <laughs> so this is like you playing at Wembley three times already. This is unacceptable. <laughs> Take your position. You've, two, you've not even shots. seen this it's properly like yet. It's exactly bowling. Do I have to go first? You certainly do, because you do. Because what? Because that's the way, because that's the way then you get to watch the method of where I fail and go, oh, you the don't method. do it like I've that. Got, could, I, could I copy your tactics I'm here? I don't know. I'm trying to figure out, do I aim high or low? I think you. Ooh, I can't help you. No. Lever it. Lever it. Just Come leather on. it. Ah, oh, okay. You ready? Ready. I'm side foot, side footing this. That's what Nathan does. As long as you kick it, go, I'll go, be go, happy. Go. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm so sorry. You nearly killed close. Layla. Oh, you nearly close. killed Layla. <laughs> PK. That's what I need. Mean. You nearly killed Layla. You've got a second guy. Okay. So wait, sorry. Wait, Is he allowed to take another shot? Don't stand so close to the fence. It's an absolute gutter ball. Okay. It's your spin, are you? Take this seriously. You can't let Rory win this. Okay, so that far so good. I'm really disappointed by that. Come on, mate, come on. <laughs> no pressure. I'm going to do it again. I like, I like your... I'm, I'm really scared here. I... In your own time. Yeah. Yes! Oh. Yes! Oh. yes. Oh, What's no. that, spare? Oh, yes. spare? No. He made us wait. Oh, no. Okay. Right, he watches the, the method fail and he brings <laughs> it back for the oh, second no. time. Right. No, no pressure. You're genuinely Go, nervous, aren't you, Rory? Brilliant! Oh! Oh! oh. There's two, two to go. Andy. Two to go to match the spare. Come on. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what the hell was that? We're still undecided. We're still undecided. So what do we do right. now? We're still undecided. I tell you what. Let me show you how to do this. What happens? Let me show you how to do this. Nathan's going to have a go. Nathan, whose team are you playing for? Who I'm you... playing for my team, Brentford. <laughs> oh, OK. OK, are Brentford going to win the oh. semi-final between Spurs and Chelsea? <laughs> Come on, bees. Right. All right. You're up. Get away, bruv. I'm out. I love how you... Oh, no. Ooh. You can't. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's ridiculous. I'm getting out of here. That is, that is, we, we're oh. getting carried away here. I think we need to finish up. I really do think we need to finish up. There's no safety. <laughs> Guys, thank you all so much for watching. Reese, it's been a joy. Layla, it's been a me. much bigger Comedy joy. Bees. Thank you all so much for watching, and we will see you same time, same place next week. Got any blues? Bees. <laughs>